control flow statements in javascript control flow statements are used to control the flow of execution in javascript program they are used to make decisions execute loops and handle errors there are three type of control flow statements in javascript which is conditional statements loops and try catch statements so now let's learn about conditional statements conditional statements are used to execute different code based on different condition the most common conditional statements in javascript are if a statement else a statement and else if a statement if a statement in javascript is used to execute a block of code if a condition is true so let's understand it with one example here we will add if and in this parenthesis we will add one condition condition will be true or false so we will add true in this block let's add one line of code execute so in the console tab you can see this message execute in this example the condition is true that's why it is executing this code and it is printing execute in this console tab now if i change it here we will add false and now in the console tab you can see nothing is printed why because if the condition is false then any code written within this block will be skipped it will not execute now let's understand it with another example here we will add age greater than 18 and let's add let age equal to 20 and it will print one message you are an adult so here we have the age value 20 and the condition is age greater than 18 so you can see 20 is greater than 18 that's why this block of code will be executed and we will see this message here now if we change the value of this age let's add 16 now in the console tab you can see it is blank nothing is printed why because this condition is false 16 greater than 18 is false that's why this code will not be executed let me comment this and we will take another example and here let's understand with another example we will add let country equal to india and let age equal to 20 if age greater equal to 18 and operator country equal to India so this is the if statement where we are adding two conditions using the logical and operator here we are adding logical and that's why if the first condition is true and second condition is true then only this complete line output will be true so you can see the age is 20 which is greater than 18 and country is India and here it is comparing with India so this condition is also true and this is also true then overall result is true so we can print any message console.log you can get a driver's license now you can see it is printed here in this console tab you can get a driver license now if i change the age value to 17 now nothing is printed in this console tab it is empty so you can add this type of logical or logical and operator to get the true or false value and then if the value is true then only this code will be executed now let's learn about the if else statement 
if else statement in javascript is a conditional statement that is used to execute a block of code if a condition is true and another block of code if the condition is false so let's understand it with one example here we will add the same example here you can see if the condition is true then only this code will be executed now we have to add another statement that will be executed when the condition is false so here we just add else in this else condition i will print another message console.log you are a minor now you can see in the console tab we got a message you are a minor why because the age is 18 so the if condition is false here we are adding 16 greater than 18 which is false so if it is false then else condition will be executed and if i change the value 19 you can see the message you are an adult the if condition is getting executed next conditional statement is else if so in this example we have one if condition and one else condition now we need another condition also so here we will add else if and in this one let's add one condition check here we will add age greater equal to 16 it will be greater equal to 18 and in this else if let's print one message console.log you are a teenager so what will happen in this program first it will check if it is 19 this if condition will be executed now if this condition is false suppose the value is 17 now it will jump to the next statement the first one is false it will come to the next statement which is else if and in this one it will check whether the condition is true or false if the condition is true then only this code will be executed else it will go to the another statement so here let's check age is 17 and 17 is greater than 16 correct so that's why this condition is true then this code will be executed now let's check this one and you can see in the console tab we got the message you are a teenager it is printing from this console.log which is in the else if statement like this you can have multiple else if statement suppose this is also false let's add 15 age is 15 so this condition is false this condition is also false so it will execute the else condition else condition is you are a minor you can see in the console tab the message you are a minor now you know the if statement else if statement and else statement now we will learn about this switch in javascript the switch statement in javascript is a conditional statement that is used to execute a block of code based on the value of an expression let's understand this switch with one example here if we write let value is equal to 42 and then we will add the switch statement so this is the syntax to write the switch statement in this one we will add type of value so it will get the type of this value variable and the type is number for now now in this case we will execute different message we can create multiple cases so in the first case let's add number so if the type is number then we will print console.log number we can add multiple case so let's duplicate it and here we will add string
console.log string. Let's add another one. It will be boolean. console.log boolean. In the default, we will add console.log. other now in this switch statement you can see the output is number why because we are adding value is equal to 42 which is the number type and here it will check the case if it is number then it will print number now if we change the type if i add hello so the type of this variable is a string so it will check this case it is not correct then it will check this case so the type is a string correct that's why it is printing this message now if i change it let's add true so the type is boolean so this case will be executed and it will print boolean now if i add anything else let's add one array now you can see other is printed here because this case is also false this is also false this is also false so it will print the default one so in this default we have added message other that's why it is printing other in this console tab now let's take another example of this switch case here we will add day name and the day name let's add two Suppose the day start with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and the number is 1, 2, 3. For Sunday it is 1, Monday it is 2. So here we are adding let day name is equal to 2. Now let's add the switch statement event. In this one we have to pass the day name. So let's add switch day name as a key and here we will add different value so first value will be 1 and here day name is equal to sunday now we will add second case case 2 so the day name will be monday let's add case 3 So we have added seven different case case 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and name of the day wednesday thursday friday saturday suppose we have entered any number greater than seven then we will display another message so here in this default we will add day name is equal to invalid day number now to print this we will add console.log let's add the message the day is plus day name this is the string and this is the variable now in the console tab you can see the day is monday why because we have added day name 2 now let's change it here we will add 5 and we will check the console tab you can see the day is thursday let's add 7 so it will check the, this case 1 then it will check 2 then it will check 3 so it is 7 so it will come here case and the value is 7 then day name will be saturday and it will be printed using this console the day is saturday so this is the switch case statement in the javascript now we will learn ternary operator it also works like if else statement let me write the example of if else statement so here we have added let a is equal to 20 if a is greater than or equal to 18 so if this condition is true this code will be executed and if this condition is false then else statement will be executed now the same thing we can execute using the ternary operator. 
for ternary operator we use this question mark now let's see the syntax for the ternary operator first we will add condition then question mark and after this question mark we will add the code that will be executed if the condition is true so here we will add value if true now we will add semicolon and here we will add the code that will be executed if the condition is false value if false this is the syntax to use the ternary operator now let's understand with example so here we will add the same thing let age is equal to 20 and now we will add the condition like this age greater equal to 18 question mark if it is greater then what we will print we will print you are an adult this will be the message and if it is false this condition is false then we will print you are a minor we can directly write console.log and this message so it will be printed in the console tab so this will become so long that's why here i am adding let msg is equal to this either this message or this message will be stored in this msg now we will add console.log msg let's see the output in the console tab you are an adult now if I change the value it will be 16 now check this you are a minor so this is how the ternary operator is working same as the if else statement so this was all about the conditional statements 